just two weeks. This massive space object evokes memories of the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs. Researchers are scrambling to find a solution to this looming catastrophe, working tirelessly to assess the potential impact. The predicted collision severity and Umuamua's origins are under intense scrutiny. Join us as we delve into the urgent warning from scientists, the big comeback revealing Umuamua's approaching impact with Earth and the race against time to prevent it. Umuamua has suddenly appeared again in our solar system without any warning or indication after its disappearance from sight seven years ago. This re-emergence has created a sense of panic and chaos, as no one could predict that it is coming again to threaten our planet. Could this be the beginning of the end of humanity or is there still hope for survival? The alien world with this sudden appearance, scientists have again been on guard, doing all they can to stop this great havoc that will befall Earth from happening, even though they still find it difficult to understand what is really happening. By gathering scientific clues about the object and its origins, they are left to wonder with a series of questions about the alien world, what if Umuamua is actually an alien probe that was sent to study Earth and its inhabitants? Are the aliens trying to make contact with humans or do they just want to have control of the whole Earth by first destroying it? If so, what influence are they trying to project on our planet and in society? How are we going to be saved from this calamity? These and many more have been the questions that are adding extra layers of mystery and curiosity to the scenario. Ever since Muamua's first shot at our system, scientists have assigned a high value to interstellar objects which represent material ejected from other solar systems. In this case, Muamua demonstrated that the velocity of interstellar objects, which means that they are likely to remain undetected until they are close to the inner edge of the main asteroid belt, is hyperbolic. This hyperbolic flight made it possible for Umuamua to move around our sun and become unreachable shortly after it was detected. The positioning of the intercept mission directly affects the spacecraft's ability to deploy and reach the target interstellar object, Umuamua. However, by obtaining samples and studying them up close, astronomers were able to learn much about the formation of other stars and planets without actually sending missions there. From this, a lot was learned about the interstellar medium ISM, including how organic material and the building blocks of life are distributed throughout the galaxy. But what are the specific details that have first been recorded upon this strange object's first discovery? What is Umuamua and how was it dealt with before it disappeared? What is Umuamua in revealing the long-time secret of the interstellar objects that are on mission towards Earth? Umuamua becomes the first confirmed object to visit the Earth's solar system. This interstellar interloper appears to be a rocky, cigar-shaped object that somehow looks reddish in color. Therefore, it was named Umuamua by its discoverers, which means a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian. Upon discovery, Umuamua is up to one quarter mile, equivalent to 400 meters long and highly elongated, perhaps 10 times as long as it is wide. The ratio is greater than that of any asteroid or comet observed in our solar system to date. However, while its long shape is quite surprising, unlike other objects seen in our solar system, it provides new clues into how other solar systems were formed. According to observations through the appearance of Umuamua, it is suggested that this unusual object had been wandering through the Milky Way without being attached to any star system for hundreds of millions of years before its chance encounter with our star system. But immediately after its discovery in 2017, telescopes around the world, including ESO's very large telescope in Chile, were called into action to measure the object's orbit, brightness, and color. This is because the urgency of viewing from ground-based telescopes was vital to getting the best data. Moreso, while combining the images from the faint object camera and spectrograph, FOS instrument on the European Southern Observatory Telescope using four different filters with those of other large telescopes, a team of astronomers led by Karen Meech of the Institute for Astronomy in Hawaii found that Umuamua varies in brightness by a factor of 10 as it spins on its axis every 7.3 hours. Interestingly, no known asteroid or comet from our solar system varies so widely in brightness, with such a large ratio between length and width. Hence, the most elongated objects we have seen to date are no more than three times longer than they are wide. With these properties, it is therefore suggested that Umuamua is dense, composed of rock and possibly metals, has no water or ice, and that its surface was reddened due to the effects of irradiation from cosmic rays over hundreds of millions of years. Consequently, on further research, a few large ground-based telescopes continued to track the fading object as it receded from our planet. 
Two of NASA's space telescopes, Hubble and Spitzer, tracked the object, which traveled about 85,700 miles per hour relative to the Sun. Its outbound path is about 20 degrees above the plane of planets that orbit the Sun checking Oumuamua's trajectory around the solar system. It is recorded according to the scientists' report that Oumuamua passed Mars's orbit around November 1 and also Jupiter's orbit in May of 2018. It travels beyond Saturn's orbit in January 2019 and as it leaves our solar system, Oumuamua heads for the constellation Pegasus. Other preliminary orbital calculations have also suggested that the object came from the approximate direction of the bright star Vega in the northern constellation of Lyra. However, it took so long for the interstellar object to make the journey, even at the speed of about 59,000 miles per hour, that Vega was not in that position when the Muamua was there about 300,000 years ago. Astronomers then estimate that an interstellar object similar to Oumuamua passes through the inner solar system about once per year, but they are faint and hard to spot and have been missed until now. It is only recently that survey telescopes, such as Pan, Stars 1, are powerful enough to have a chance to discover them. Interestingly, the bizarre and mysterious object is gradually moving freely into our solar system from interstellar space while still puzzling scientists with its bizarre shape and unknown origins. But how was this interstellar visitor found, and what was it really made of? Discovery of Oumuamua The shocking space discovery Oumuamua was discovered by Robert Werrick on October 19, 2017 using the Pan-STARRS telescope at Haleakal Observatory in Hawaii. The discovery occurred approximately 40 days after it passed its closest point to the Sun on September 9. Upon this discovery, it was formally designated with the name 1I 2017U1. When it was first observed, it was about 33 million kilometers from Earth, which is about 85 times as far away as the Moon, and already heading away from the Sun Oumuamua turns out to be a small object estimated to be between 100 and 1,000 meters long, with its width and thickness both estimated between 35 and 167 meters. It has a red color, like objects in the outer solar system. However, despite its close approach to the Sun, it showed no signs of having a coma around comets, which forms when they pass near the Sun. Further, it exhibited non-gravitational acceleration, potentially due to outgassing or a push from solar radiation pressure. It has a rotation rate similar to that of solar system asteroids, but many valid models permit it to be unusually more elongated than all but a few other natural bodies observed in the solar system. Umiamua, thereby, would be remarkable for its extrasolar origin, high speciousness, and observed acceleration without an apparent coma. By July 2019, most astronomers concluded that it was a natural object, but its exact characterization is contentious given the limited observation window. While an unconsolidated object like a rubble pile would require Umuamua to be of a density similar to rocky asteroids, a small amount of internal strength similar to icy comets would allow it to have a relatively low density. With the sudden emergence and discovery of this strange and terrifying object, it definitely should have been where it is coming from. Are there traceable indications to its origin at all? Let's find out in the next section. Where is this mysterious object from? Accounting for Vega's proper motion, it would have taken Oumuamua 600,000 years to reach the solar system from Vega. But as a nearby star, Vega was not in the same part of the sky at that time. Astronomers calculate that 100 years ago, the object was 83.9 billion kilometers away from the Sun and travels at 26.33 kilometers per second with respect to the Sun. This interstellar speed is very close to the mean motion of material in the Milky Way in the neighborhood of the Sun, also known as the local standard of rest LSR, and especially close to the mean motion of a relatively close group of red dwarf stars. This velocity profile also indicates an extrasolar origin but appears to rule out the closest dozen stars. In actual fact, the closeness of Oumuamua's velocity to the local standard of rest might mean that it has circulated the Milky Way several times and thus may have originated from an entirely internal ice, hidden by an insulating mantle produced by long-term cosmic ray exposure, has been considered a feature of Oumuamua. In November 2019, some astronomers suggested that Oumuamua might be a cosmic dust bunny, composed of a very lightweight and fluffy conglomerate of dust and ice grains. However, in August 2020, astronomers concluded that Oumuamua is unlikely to be made of frozen hydrogen, leaving its exact composition still unknown. Its hyperbolic trajectory indicated it wasn't captured by the Sun's gravity, with an orbital eccentricity of 1.20, suggesting it is of interstellar origin. 
Oumuamua entered the solar system from the north of the ecliptic, sped up by the sun's gravity to a peak speed of 196,200 miles per hour on September 6, 2017, and made a close approach to the sun on September 9, 2017. It passed beyond the orbit of Earth on October 14, 2017, and later beyond Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune, heading towards Pegasus. Theories about its origin include nitrogen ice outgassing, proposed in March 2021, suggesting it might be a fragment from an exopluto. However, this was contested, and in 2023, hydrogen outgassing from water ice was proposed as a possible explanation for its non-gravitational acceleration. Labanbiali suggested it might be an artificial solar sail, but this idea faced criticism due to the lack of supporting evidence. Meanwhile, Project Lyra and other studies explored the feasibility of a mission to intercept Umuamua. Although challenging, such missions were deemed feasible with current technology. Ultimately, Umuamua's hyperbolic path confirmed it is not native to our solar system, suggesting it was just passing through and would not be seen again. Some scientists believe it is a comet, despite its lack of a visible tail, which typically forms due to outgassing when comets approach the Sunday. Although challenging, an encounter mission would be feasible using near term technology. Seligman and Laughlin then adopt a complementary approach to the Lyra study but also conclude that such missions, though challenging to mount, are both feasible and scientifically attractive. With observations made within this short period of time, it is believed that Umuamua was in a hyperbolic orbit, according to the scientists. This boomerang-shaped flight indicated that the rock is not native to our solar system but was only passing through the sun's neighborhood and would never be seen again. Other scientists also conclude that, rather than being an asteroid, Umuamua must be a comet. Comets in the solar system receive additional momentum from the water and dust that evaporate from their icy nuclei as they warm up close to the sun. These comets, however, are famous for their spectacular tails that light up as a result of the outgassing process. While Umuamua showed no signs of a tail. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more updates. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos.